The open world of Red Dead Redemption 2 is full of fascinating landmarks for us to discover. Places of interest that draw our attention with their unique aesthetic and the questions their presence raises. Well in today's video we're going to be looking at landmarks relevant to a treasure hunt, that treasure hunt being the landmarks of riches. A treasure hunt added with the PC version of the game back when it released in early November and was then added as an update for all platforms in December. This is a fun treasure hunt as they all are and takes us to some interesting landmarks, but most importantly the reward that you get at the end is 100% worth it. So let's dive right in. Let's ride Ronald McDonald. The first place we need to visit is west of Strawberry at the Obelisk, which is as the location name describes a random obelisk in the middle of nowhere. It's not the kind of thing that I'd anticipate finding out here, but whatever. Anyway, if you approach the obelisk, you'll be prompted to inspect the plaque, behind which you will find the first treasure map in this chain, depicting, you guessed it, the tiny church that you can find in the bayou. You just gotta head north from Saint Denis and you'll find this place. It's just a little ways east of Le Quay. I don't think words can quite express just how much I despise this swamp. Between the night folk and the alligators everywhere, do be careful. Out here in the swamp you will find a church, however like I said the catch is, it's miniature. If we climb onto the roof of this tiny church we will be prompted to inspect the bell. It's here where we will find the second map. This one shows us a turtle with a crack in its shell. Whether it's a turtle or a tortoise, I really don't give a shit. We know of the religion of the Chelonians and they love their turtles. However, the location that we're being directed to is actually the mysterious hill home, located a little distance northeast of Fort Wallace and a little distance southeast of the Wapiti Indian Reservation. At the hill home above the door, you will notice the turtle logo which barring colour and detail seems almost identical to the logo of the Chelonians. As interesting as that is, it's not really relevant, so we're just going to move on to where you can find the third map. When facing the turtle logo to the right, you will find a smashed window. It is inside here where you will find the third map. The third map shows us a cannon and a tree trunk with a hollow base, seemingly suggesting the old battlefield that is Bulger Glade, located east of Braithwaite Manor and south of Rhodes. Once here, we need to head onto the battlefield where we will find a small hill with a tree trunk with a hollowed base surrounded by trenches. If you're using this video as a guide, use the ruins of the church in the background as a reference point. Upon approach, we will be prompted to investigate the tree trunk where we will find the fourth and final map. This one seemingly showing a sundial on a mountain peak. Obviously, we must now head to Mount Shan, which is located north of the town of Strawberry, but I'm sure it needs no introduction. Once on the mountain, we must head to the infamous sundial that's up here. Upon close investigation, you will be prompted to inspect a loose rock. Upon completing this task, you will be rewarded with six gold bars, which has a whopping in-game value of $3,000. So in reality, that's a really easy method you can use to get a hefty sum quite quickly. And you get to visit some intriguing landmarks along the way. But I do suppose that that concludes today's video. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. That would be fantastic. Maybe if you're feeling like it, check out my social media. And with any luck, hopefully I will be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point. But until then, take it easy and goodbye. <laughs>